Hi, Randy Moore for NGA Advanced Media with Brendan Cuddy. We were at Fenway Park, game one of the ALDS. The Yankees fall behind 5 nothing. They make a big comeback. They lose 5-4. to four. Now they're down one game to none in this best of five. Game two is Saturday night here at Fenway Park. Brendan, last year they fell behind two games to none against Cleveland. They come back and win. Uh, what do they need to do in game two? Who has to step up? I think you got to get something from John Carlo Stanton this time. On Friday, you see him go one for five, four strikeouts, two of those strikeouts coming in huge spots, once with the bases loaded. Then in the ninth inning, he just watches three pitches. I mean, he, they expect more from him. They need more from him. And he's capable of so much more. Now on Saturday, the Yankees be going against David Price, who has been terrible in the postseason, has been really bad against the Yankees since joining the Red Sox, and stands hit him pretty well. He's a three for nine against him this year, has a career 316 batting average against Price. So he could step up, and they need him to step up. Randy, who do you think needs to step up? I'm going with a starting pitcher for the Yankees, Masahiro Tanaka. Tanaka this season against the Red Sox, four starts, 7 5 8 ERA. And we know that Tanaka can be dominant. Remember, Last year he was here, I think he pitched a two-hitter, tremendous game. Uh, he had a really good stretch at the end of the season this year, but he ended the season with giving up nine runs, eight earns, and two starts. Look, they got a terrible start from Jay Happ in game one. This was the guy that he brought in to beat the Red Sox. He doesn't even get out of the third inning, and they need Tanaka to really step up because if he gives up uh, a few runs again and they fall behind, uh, they're in trouble because I don't think they're coming back from 0-2 against this Red Sox team, which is better than last year's Indian team.